well, tell us about it's worse than you think because of the LMU export. I am not an expert in this at all, and, and I'm grateful that Cecile has. made a presentation for us that I will try to do. Can you see that? Liquid natural gas. What? Hmm? Need a light side. What? Uh, liquid natural gas, what is it and why should we care, slides by Cecile Schofield. And I've illustrated this with, is that in focus? I have new glasses and glasses. It's good? Okay, because I can't see anything with my new glasses. Um, it's really horrible. Um, that is a bomb train. That's a, that's a train that has a one car can go in either direction and it has liquid natural gas. And those trains will take potentially gas from well, you can see the pipeline in the background of that picture too there. Um, gas that's been compressed and move it to another location if they can't exactly have the export terminal connected to the pipeline place where they want it or they want to take it some other place. They're going to take it on the railroad. Think about where does the railroad go? The railroad goes to every single town. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is supposed to say, what is liquid natural gas? Liquid natural gas has, it is natural gas that has been cooled to 259 degrees Fahrenheit. Minus. Minus 259. So it's cold, 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 pressure. It's under pressure. And so that's how it gets cold. And then it's, instead of being a gas, it's a liquid. Once a year. Oh, how wonderful. Okay, 
one. So provide initial training to all crews operating LNG gas trains and emergency responders along the route. Okay, well, we just heard that emergency responders had to respond to the natural gas uh, leak and the company just wrapped a towel around it. So how does the railroad, when did the railroad become an expert in transporting such a dangerous thing? And what's going to happen when they have an explosion and then they say, well, they're new at it and they're just learning how? Mm -hmm. Right? Well, what's going to be the line? Um, okay, prohibits double stacking of portable tanks. Seriously? You're going to put them two at a time like to do like, you know, with containers? Right. No. Okay. You said um, they only really had eight cars, though? Yes. Just say no. Okay, so federal regulators should not treat Alaska Railroad Experiment as a reason to green light. Okay, so just because you did it in Alaska doesn't mean it's going to work anywhere else. Alaska doesn't well, have very many people, but the people that live there they're just as important as the people who live here in Florida, or in Georgia, or in uh, Pennsylvania, or Oklahoma, or any other place. So it just shouldn't be moving stuff around. They never have a problem in small town USA. They always have a problem in big town USA. Well, and when they have a problem in small town USA, well, heck, when we were when we were having our thing with FDEP and the the executives from Houston came, they're like, here we are in the middle of nowhere. It's somewhere to us. This is where we live. So just because they had to come to Houston in their fancy private jet to Jasper doesn't mean that Jasper isn't important. Uh, Association of American Railroads filed a petition to the Pipeline and Hazardous Material Safety uh, Administration, your friend FIMSA, uh, to allow transport of LNG by National Rail Nation Line. And FIMSA currently prohibits um, because it's dangerous um, and because it could explode and because um, uh, pool fires can't be extinguished like if it gets. And um, which, okay, so FIMSA is like good. It's good. Um, the Center for Biological Diversity has asked that FIMSA not allow LNG export by rail until and unless it complies with environmental and public uh, process mandates. Uh, okay, but we already saw that with FERC, uh, they just yeah, uh, it's not doesn't, doesn't really help. Oh, there's nothing they can do to make it safe. Right. Okay, so what happens to LNG in the event of a crash or spill? I'm sorry that this is so small, but she gives an enormous amount of stuff for me. Um, an uncontrolled release of LNG poses, poses a fire hazard. An uncontrolled release of natural gas poses a fire hazard. Um, in confined spaces, LNG will explode. Uh, flammable vapor gas from the LNG spill near an ignition source will burn. Oh, okay, great. Um, an LNG pool fire would spread the fire away. Oh, is that other stuff would catch on fire? Um, it burns hotter and faster than oil or gasoline. Mm -hmm. Ew. They can't be extinguished, just have to burn off. Coming to a railroad near you. Um, Thermal radiation or heat from the LNG pool fire may injure people and damage property, and large pool fires on water are extremely dangerous because you can't. But you can't put them out. You can't put them out. It's a problem. So, this is Martin County, and I, I wish you could see this pretty well. Um, Martin County Fire Rescue did an, uh, an analysis, and so their, um, their place that they looked at these three little purple bits, and then this is um, where the export would be, the, the tank bit. And the railroad goes along there. Their analysis would be that hundreds of people would die or be seriously injured from a breach in a containment tank. But there's still a uh, Florida East Railroad using LNG. The Treasure Coast Fires Chiefs Association sent a letter to Governor Scott expressing concern about Increased use of LNG fuel and LNG freight. Um, nothing. I think they should be noting. Noting. Oh, noting that they are not adequately. It should be. Yeah, it should be, but it's not. Yeah. Noting that they're not adequately prepared for additional demands. Okay, so here's the thing. They put this pipeline in, or they move bombs on the railroad, and who gets stuck always holding the bag? The the local government and the citizens who live in the area are the ones that. Bear the brunt every single time. And if the Fire Chiefs Association says, we are not prepared 
we couldn't handle something like this, Governor Scott needs to do something. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> so funny. He's, uh, he's um, there you go. So, yeah. He did something. He got off. Um, so ex exported left by natural gas. Um, a sister company to Florida, East Coast Railway, exported over 2 million gallons of LNG to Barbados from Miami and Fort Lauderdale. So it's going off to the islands. Um, uh, Florida's uh, FRA is being hauled by truck and rail as of March 13th. Okay, so Potentially, it could be on 75 or 95. We don't, we don't need these things in our towns, honestly. Uh, they did a FOIA, and I don't know if they got an answer. And September 5th, uh, the guys at the FOIA request obtained a permit allegedly issued to blah, 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 blah. It, it's not a good picture. Okay. Sorry. How do they keep it cold? It's so cold. Pressure. Just pressure. pressure. There's a problem. If, if they're if they're hauling oh, LNG yeah. by rail without a permit, and what they fail? It's a well. If they're doing it without a permit, that's a really big problem. If they issue a permit to haul from Miami to the ports of Miami and Fort there, are there any conditions on the permits? If not, why aren't there any conditions? Why does it say like you can't go within so many feet of a well or a house or something? And if there are conditions, what are they? What are they? So the single fail trail jam thing uh, comes down through Swanee County, and then there's some spurs that are not part of the Sable Trail project, different projects, to go over to the coasts. Well, why would they split off side bits that don't go to power plants? Because they're going to put it to export. Right. And FERC gave the rubber stamp to that. So, there you go. That's, that's what I know from Cecile. I appreciate her making this presentation for us about the hideousness of bomb trains. Wow. So maybe... The, the bomb train, the, the problem with that is you can't protect that train. No. Especially, I'll go again with a terrorist. No, no, you can't protect it. And, and, and once that goes up, let's say in small town, the fireball from that will probably be so great. Yeah, a little bit right. It'd be, a little, it'd be like those bombs that they used in Afghanistan and those I figure, I figure one sitting down there and just fire. Burn all the oxygen. Because that's right, right where they're coming in from, where those forts are that we're talking about. Wow. That's where it's actually coming in. I can just see them sitting there now. Oh, I forgot we've got one sitting there. Well, we we were new to this. I the whole we were new to this. It just such a bad. So, oh my gosh. So they, the tanks are holding a certain pressure. How how do they maintain the pressure? It's closed. It's just closed. Closed. It's like you blowing up a balloon. And then they close it and they put it on the train. Put it on the train and they move to yeah. the next place. And as long as that pressure stays right there, then everything's okay. Correct. Correct. It's the same way as when you get helium. In a, you know, or a propane tank. You know, they're under pressure in there. Yeah. So when you make enough pressure in there, it makes a liquid. Yes. That's. Okay. Okay. Is that liquid going through the pipeline? No. That's, no. That's, that's it's gas. Gas going through, but when they get it, right, yes. And then when they get it out, then they put it into a smaller thing, then they turn to put all that pressure on it. Or is it wasn't bad enough so to The way it used to be is gas, you could push it, and if nobody was using it, you couldn't sell anymore because it was right. But now same. they found a way to store it. Correct. But with, with the store. correct and send it somewhere else easily, where you're not going to build a big old pipeline all the way to the Barbados or China. Well, the or tankers India. are specially built to, to, to yeah. keep the correct LNG. But they're correct. already having leaks. Well, they have leak in the pipeline. Yeah. In the pipeline. Well, and even. Okay, so pipelines can have accidents. So there's a little 10-inch pipeline that goes across our property, and we have the stink put-in station on our property. So then we have to turn off the gas thing on our property, this is a little chain-link fence thing. And um, so we live in an area where there are some dirt roads, and the, the uh, road scrape comes and pulls the ditches 
to make the road be, you know, humped up in the middle and, and um, well, about two miles north of us, the road scrape hit the gas pipeline. Yeah. And thank goodness there wasn't a spark and there wasn't anybody smoking at the time and the gas just shot in a jet into the sky. And then people were like, oh, well that's a problem. Well, we need to do something about that. So John ran out there and and uh, you know, they were the, the first few members there were like, no, no, you can't come in here. And he's like, oh, well, I'll just park over there and I'll come in. And they're like, well, we have to turn this off. Well, he turned around and came back home and he got back to the world to get turned off before the pipeline people got there. I can't believe it. Oh so my gosh. this is just a little this is just a little thing. This and it was how how many how long was that spewing into the sky? Oh, it had to be at least 45 minutes. Where oh did you find the valve for that? Well, we know where it is. It's on our property. It's on our property. Oh. It's in so the... You, you have to... You go down... No, no. no. Is there, you go down 129. It's the gas station. You go down 129. You know, Brian? Yeah. But it, you'll, you'll see. This is, We've got one of those little places. Right. Uh, 349. 349, that's it. I'm sorry. That's right. where I live. And there's that little fence in there, right. Right, right next to the, the road. Right next to the road. Yeah. Right next to the floor of the school drops the kids off. Yep. That yeah. corner. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well, that's that goes they can, across the river, too. They can turn it off there. So we have one of those, a little one, though, because we just have oh. tenants on our property, where they, and where they put the stink in. So and where they put the stink in, that, that thing hisses all mm -hmm. oh. day oh. Oh. all oh. night. Oh. Hisses, okay. it makes it Natural hisses. Natural gas has no odor. So they have to odorize it. They have to odorize it. They have to put something in the nose. I never heard of it. I didn't know what it was. Otherwise, you wouldn't know if it's leaking. I thought they only had to odorize it when it's sold to the consumer. Well, yeah, that's ours. It's a little pipeline, and it goes to, you know. Oh, so that's odorized. Yeah, ours is odorized. So do you have natural gas? Not, not at our house, no. Isn't that funny? We just have a pipeline that goes through our property. It's just like, oh, yeah. Can you keep it free? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't have any. Oh, it's called the National Security. It actually branches on our property. And one of those pipelines, the one that branches off, is not on Fences map either. You know, you want to know where it goes? Who the Air Force Base. So they probably don't put it on the map because of national security. Right. Like you can't drive by and see it, you can't you know, you can't right. you can drive. Right. You can you can look at a Google map and see this big old thing where no trees grow. Trust me, they want it. They, they know they, it. they know right. it. So I mean, how long does it take to get somebody from the gas company? They're in what, Houston? They're gonna come out and send a guy. Tell them to come to Tallahassee. Oh. It's nine minutes. Yep. Well, you know, they may have come to Tallahassee. Same with trail, I think. Them. Says they hire local people to do that sort of thing. But they don't. Yeah, but well, well, they gonna, I don't really know. For right. But are they going to be full time, or are they going to be? No, no, they call. They get called when they called just, out when needed. Called out when needed. So when something. So who's going to want that job? Oh, 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 there's lots of people that right. want that. I worked, I'll take my I worked in a power plant, plant, right? And we had number six fuel oil, and I was an assistant control operator. And one of the questions were on the test, if the tank five catches on fire, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Run away. I told, my, I told the guy giving me the test, I'm going home. <laughs> yeah. I ain't staying here. You know what the answer is? I'm going to go to the pump house, which is from me to him, where that tank is on fire, and I'm going to open up a 16-inch steam smothering valve. This boy ain't stupid. He's gonna put an MOB in there. <laughs> I put anything in there, but I wasn't going there on fire. I saw that thing on fire. You should be able to push it button. Mm. Now, let me tell you something about power plants. It's a miracle you flip the switch and they go on. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. All right. So we have now um, a, a little video. If you're up for watching now, a little video. How big is these mains that they're putting in? Like, you only had a 10-inch. Yeah, 10-inch. Sable Charles is 36-inch. Yeah, that's the standard. Wow. 
Okay, so let me see if I can. And what is it on the 75 um, pounds of pressure? Or 365? Uh, three minutes. Right? I got three minutes. Okay. Yeah, Ours was only. Okay, I got a lot of that. Okay. 360 pounds, and we had a big regulator. We regulated it down to 8 pounds when we were putting it in the boiler. Turn the speed on first of all. Can't have some. Glue. And glue juice connected. That sci-fi line she was talking about branches off in Swanee County a mile from the pressure station into so the Florida gas transmission pipeline. They expanded it to go through Bradford County to Jacksonville to Eagle LNG, which is already built, which already ships through Curly Maritime for export. Wow. Does that line at 349, the pipeline comes down 349, you know, just there's a gas there. But that one that goes across the Swanee right there, uh, you could, I think it's like a T, it tees off at 349 and right where MAD CNC used to be. I can tell you looking at the map, I don't have it that well. But it goes across the river and I'm thinking, where does it go? Mayo? I mean, it's going that way. This east west is probably the FGT pipeline. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go we'll okay, Let's see if we get this. The FGT is another pipeline and it goes all the way across the jets. Yeah, is this the one that they used this in their. This is cold place. Uh, Just my watch has a bigger effect. Yes, that's Ellie Benson. Okay. She's the lead attorney. Mm -hmm. I believe that she's been confused by this too. <laughs> yeah. 